What is going on guys? It is Ahmed and I am back today with another update for everybody regarding some very, very big news going into next week. Guys, the Senate just passed the $1.9 trillion pandemic relief packet. Guys, I'm going to call it pandemic because we know if we use the C word for some reason it gets flagged on YouTube. But regardless, I want everyone to pay attention to this news. This is very big news because, again, we were waiting for this and a lot of the speculation, right? If we look at the S&P 500, S&P 500 index, we know that there is just overall in the last month, you know, we're, we're, we've been anticipating, waiting, waiting, waiting for this to, um, you know, for this bill to pass. And we know what's happened in the past when stimulus packages have, you know, passed the Senate, passed the House, went to the president to sign. And then, you know, the big thing that we're looking for here is these stimulus checks to help people at home individually, which is going to in turn, what I'm guessing is next week, we're going to see some optimists. Uh, I am very optimistic for a very positive change with our stock market, because again, this is a channel where I cover about all things stocks. But regardless, we saw a huge, huge pullback. So just about 13 minutes ago, the news dropped and I just wanted to be timely for everybody. And Biden says, you know, essence for the pandemic relief bill is the same despite compromises. So again, the Senate has passed uh, President Biden's 1.9 trillion by 50 to 49 vote. So again, pretty dang, <laughs> pretty dang close there. The bill, which includes checks for many Americans, will now go back to the House for a separate vote before Biden signs it into law. We already know the House passed the votes, uh, the, passed the bill, went to the Senate for them to sign off, and now it's going back to the um, House, and then it's going to go to Biden to sign. So again, next week, and I'm hoping maybe by the end of the day or even Sunday, we're going to hear the news that it's officially passed, and stimulus checks are going to be on the way to the American people. The marathon voting session or a vote um, or a vote arama <laughs> on a series of amendments began Friday before noon. Mind you, today is Saturday, 2 p.m. Guys, this has been going for a really long time. Uh, Friday before noon and lasted more than 24 hours after nearly 12 hours struggle to get Democratic Senator Joe Manchin to support the party's plan to extend unemployment benefits. So that was the big thing that was being paused. But we know yesterday we heard that the extension for the unemployment benefits did pass. And that was the big thing holding back the Senate from finally approving it. Now, let's quickly just look at the 1K to 10K penny stock challenge. Guys, Friday was crazy. I was live on YouTube told, telling you guys that it is Black Friday. We saw everything dip, our penny stock plays, right? NMTR, let me make my screen a little smaller for you guys. Um, here we go. Yeah, you could see all my plays there. NMTR, Zometica, ACSTR, Costi Pharma, CTR, uh, CTXR. Uh, Sidious Pharmaceuticals, BHTG, Sensionics, JAGX, POI, all of these plays, guys, got, we just saw them severely get beat down. And we're still down on the week, right? Because again, a lot of news coming out that was kind of scaring people away from the market. We saw a lot of panic selling. If we look over the month even view, we're still down pretty significantly. Got up to about 1.1 thousand and pulled back, pulled back, pulled back all the way down to, if we look at the one day here, Look at that, $659. And I know people, and I kept telling everyone, again, my videos are not for financial advice, but I told everyone, hold on strong, folks. Hold on strong. We will see a recovery. That's just how the market works. Instead of panicking, we pounce. And I told everyone, I ended up buying Zometica on my main portfolio because, again, I have $0 buying power on my 1K to 10K challenge portfolio. But again, look at this. We saw, look at that rebound. That is. I told you guys, if anything sharply decreases without any fundamental issues or, you know, any big news as if, you know, a war is going to spark or start happening, we see a huge bounce back in the stock market um, regardless. And we saw this back in March 2020 when, again, the pandemic first hit. But guys, we are recovering. And look at this wonderful, wonderful news coming out today with the stimulus information. So that, for me, um, makes me very optimistic for next week. I'm thinking next week's going to be very, very green. And that's what I'm hoping to see. Again, no guarantees, of course, but that's what I that's what I'm hoping to see and what I want to see. So for everyone else who you know got in when we did, for you know, just gonna do a quick update for the 1K to 10K challenge. You know, Zometica, still our dollar cost average is two dollars, still down about six point eight nine percent from our initial investment, which I'm not upset about. NMTR, nine meters biopharma, down twenty-five percent total return so far. So again, guys, we bought what we thought was a dip, but the market kept dipping. So I'm still holding. Acosti Pharmaceuticals, ACST, 81 cents is the uh, average cost. We're down about 22% from our initial investment. Not worried about it. 
Again, overall market still pulled back significantly the last couple weeks since we bought in. But guys, I'm sure we're going to see a recovery. CDS Pharmaceuticals, $1.52 average. So we're up actually 16.59%. We really did buy before the run-up on this one. And I think we're going to continue to see the run-up this coming week when everything hopefully turns green with this new stimulus information that just passed. BHTG, Bio High Tech. Again, 227 is our average. Currently sitting at 156. Very, I still think it's in a great buying opportunity right now for Bio High Tech. 3128 is the um, 3128, excuse me, in the negative. Thir minus 31% is where we're at with Bio High Tech. But again, I'm very long on this company. We saw it pull back heavily, heavily this week. And we saw it get up to all the way to 335. But since then, unfortunately, it's pulled back pretty significantly. But that's okay. We're not, we're not worried about it. We're just seeing these as potential buying opportunities. Sensionics again, came down to under $2. That is insane to me. So we're down 24% on our play. Average cost is 354. So it could still dollar cost average. If again, you're not doing this for the, if you're not in the one kids 10K challenge, this is still an opportunity for you to potentially get in on Sensionics because I still think this is a great, great buy zone. It's below its 70, um, below 70 on its RSI. So again, just um, pretty much saying that it's potentially oversold right so anything under 30 is um, anything under 30 oversold anything over 70 is overbought with when we talk when we talk about the relative strength index jagx jaguar health insane numbers we haven't seen these numbers in 2021 since the beginning so guys down 21 percent our dollar cost average is two dollars 13 cents and so again if you're looking to average down if you're on this in your main portfolio right now it's a significant I think it's there's opportunity, especially in the pre-market on Monday. So if you do want to get in the pre-market before market opens, officially, at you know 9:30 p.m. Eastern uh, Eastern time in the United States, you can use Webull. I know I talk about I use Robinhood for my 1K to 10K challenge, but Webull does give you two free stocks as soon as you sign up with my referral link. So it does help out the channel significantly, and it helps you out because it gives you free stocks. So who who says no to free stocks? And one could be valued up to $1,800, guys. So don't miss out on those opportunities lastly predictive oncology a company that i am very bullish on and i think right now is a great buying opportunity again in my own opinion dollar 66 is our cost average uh down 26.5 percent so far we saw it go down to 94 cents it was at such a great buy zone but unfortunately again for those of us who don't have buying power no big deal it's just time for us to continue holding and we're going to be optimistic that the market's going to recover, especially with the new drop, the new drop, the new information that dropped that the stimulus passed the Senate. So, guys, what does this mean for the market? I think it means green time. It's time for us to see the recovery from this pullback. So, as always, everybody, please feel free to join us on the Discord. It's in the link below. Again, it's a completely free Discord, a community that I created for people to talk about all things stocks. And also, if you would like, you can join the Patreon. My Patreon page is, again, just a way to, for you to support the channel, support the vision that we have, and that is to help democratize the trading space to allow people like you and I, the retail investors, the people who work nine to five jobs, to understand and get a different perspective of the market from someone that, you know, again, did not does not do this full time for a living. So thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, everybody, keep investing.